So here, talk through this cave puzzle by Roger Barkin called Three of a Kind, where every number from four to nine is in the grid three times. These uh, clues on the edges, the seven, which will have to have two more vertically than the, the five, looks like one of the places to start. Um, on this other edge, we've got a nine that can take as many as five vertically, so we'll have to take four uh, horizontally. This eight can take as many as six vertically, so we'll take these. We're now in a place where we've actually built a bit of a cul-de-sac at the top, and for sure there's at least one shaded cell between this five and this green cell because they can't all be the, together, so we always have to shade a cell like this in. And doing that, we shade uh, for connectivity a cell to the left. That now stops the cells below the seven, which means the five also has to be stopped there. So these get marked in, and we now have some gaps that are going to force other cells to come through. For instance, this nine can take now five horizontally, six, seven, eight, nine. This eight can take four, five, six, has to take this. This six can take four plus one, five take six, this nine can take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine coming down. Let's see if we can do some more with those forcings on the bottom. Well, this seven now can't take more than four in this column because it can't join into this group. So that's four, five, six, seven. The seven can only take the same four, five, six, seven. So these come in around. This eight can take four in this row or five in this row. So let's do five, six, seven, eight coming up to here. Um, that's going to put some tension now in the center. So this 4, 5, the 5 will always have to take one cell more than the 4, and if it comes up here it actually takes both of these together. So one point of tension looks to be these cells potentially working as the same. Also the 4 just has one more clue left for it, and we need to have some shaded cells coming down here. So where X's mark at least one of those cells being shaded, we've got some tension in the grid. And some of that tension I think I can get to play out if we just come back to some other numbers we are looking at. Like the six now can take as many as five if it comes down more, but always needs to take at least one more here. Um, this seven can't come all the way to this cell because it would actually mark both of these off as shaded. And that's no good. Uh, it forms a two by two pattern. So the seven actually only can take three coming up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like this. This eight can only take six coming up here, so seven, eight. And I think this vertical cell here is now pretty important. It, for one thing, puts a vertical over on the seven. Whether they join or don't, they'll always have to come up. But now it's making another place where we've got a shut-in effect. There is at least one shaded cell here, and this cell now is a single cell out to be shaded or not. So let's let's try to do a counterfactual. Let's say this is part of the cave. That means we then absolutely need to have shaded cells uh, here coming all the way over to here. That means this five is gonna come down here, but we have to shade these off. This comes in, we shade these off. So we get a very big shaded set. And the tension that you wanna look at is to this digit eight. So. One thing that happens is when this is marked in and this is marked in, we leave not enough room for that eight to fill up. And so I think there's a tension, maybe there's an easier way to, to show it than what I'm doing, but a tension that this cell has to be shaded. And marking that in now will give us enough sort of working up to probably complete a lot of this corner of the grid. So this nine now can't come all the way down, so it has a total of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine coming to this. The six now has five, can't take this cell, but can take this cell. Um, this nine is now shut off, so actually has to take these. That moves this shaded cell left, moves a shaded cell here. This four now taking two means it can't come up to the join the nine, so it comes down like so. That means the seven now has to come over and connect across. And um, do we know a little more than that? Well, I think we're going to have to still do some more solving. In the center region, there will be shaded cells, and they'll have to escape. So because of this X, we can mark these in. Um, this 9, which has 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, has to take this. This still has some choices, but maybe it's this 8 down here that now is, is pretty limited. We've got 4, 5, 
six could be seven, eight. So this always has to, or this has five and has either six, seven, six, seven. It always has to take the single eight single cell here to work. That now means that the five can't come down. So these have to both come up. That completes this set. It means this is moving out to the edge of the grid. This comes in to fill in that group. This nine has one more cell to fill it in. This is closed off and these cells come over to finish this group. This has seven needs eight. This center set of shaded cells needs to still get out that side of the grid so I can mark more cells in just around it. Um, in doing that, we now have marked off a cell off this eight, which needs to take a vertical set of six and connects into this. So those uh, cancel each other out. This four takes one more cell and we cancel these. The six now has four, five, six up to here. This five can't take both of these cells. So if we actually work around some of the numbers we know, um, the cell always is marked off. That means the six comes down like so. This five is now complete. To be complete, the nine has to do this. These cells have to get out to the grid. One more cave cell, last cell to finish the grid. So pretty hard puzzle. I'm not sure if there are other breakthroughs in the middle, except some of what we were doing with these cramped cells on the lower right. But knowing that the cave has to still allow this interior group to get outside to a border of the grid gave some key constraints around the counts of these nines, these eights, the sevens sort of moving in, and eventually by marking the cell off, up to enough to then force the rest through the solve. So hope you got something out from watching this video. Thanks, and we'll see you again soon.